Today we're installing a front seat cover designed for a club car precedent. To do this, we're going to use safety glasses, a razor knife, a staple puller, a long nose pneumatic upholstery stapler, 3 8 staples, and a cleaning solution. Now let's get started. To make this install easier, we recommend putting the covers in a dryer for 5 to 10 minutes. If you don't have a dryer available, you can set them outside in the sun. We're going to begin with our lean back cushion. You'll notice in the top it has a large dip and the bottom has a small dip in it. We're going to lay our seat cover face down, lay the cover down flat. You'll notice the big dip here at the top. We're going to put our seat cushion inside the cover accordingly. We want to make sure that all four corners of the seat cushion have the same amount of fabric hanging over the edge. Now you're going to use the seams on the sides of the cover as a guide. You want the seams to sit right on the hip of the seat cushion. You can also use the seams in the design of the cover and the back side of the seat to make sure that the seat cover is square on the seat cushion. Now we're going to start with our four corners and staple those first. You're going to use your safety glasses. Remember, check your seam, make sure it's sitting right, make sure all four ends are in the proper spot. You want to pull the cover over and staple once. We're going to move to the alternating corner. The reason we're staggering corners is to keep the cover from getting turned. So once we staple this side, you want to flip it over and make sure that everything is still lined up. you also notice that we're only staping about a quarter inch on the inside of the seat cushion. Our hide them strip will hide this later and we'll remove all the trim afterwards. We can now staple our other two sides. Now we have all four sides attached. What you want to do now is go back and check your cover again. If anything's out of place, simply remove the staple and adjust. Now we're going to move to our middle seams. On the bottom side, you're going to pull the seams over the back. You're going to use the seam here in the little dip as a guide. You're also going to use the cavity on the back side of the seat cushion. You're going to make sure that when you staple one side, the other side matches. So as you can see here, we have our staples laid across our seams to hold and they're also lined up in the same position. Now we're going to move to the top seams. Again, we're going to use the seam here as a guide. It needs to stay right on the same hip, just like the sides are. We're going to staple across this seam here. Do the same thing on the other side, using the back of the cushion as a guide. We have two seams left here on the bottom outside. We're going to save these for last. What I do want to do is come back to the bottom middle, pull the slack out, and secure this. The staples need to be about a quarter inch to three eighths inch apart from each other. You'll notice here that our staples are going in a straight line. This helps when you put your hide on so that it covers all the staples. Moving back to the top of the cover, we're going to go in between the two upper seams here and here and pull our slack. As you can see, we have about the same amount of material hanging over on each side. Moving on to the sides, you want to check your seam and make sure it's nice and even. We're going to pull the fabric in and secure it as well. You want to start in the middle and then work your way to the corners. As you can see, we have some fabric here. So what you want to do once you have the middle secured is pull the fabric itself, the extra fabric, and then secure that piece. We're going to put one in the middle. Now we have two smaller sections of fabric. So we're going to do the same thing and pull each one of those out until we're completely out of fabric. Now I have a staple here that's causing a big ripple. So I'm going to pull this staple out of the corner. 
shoot it just off to the side and pull some more of this fabric out. This fabric is very flexible, so if you need to, do not be afraid to apply extra tension. On the sides, I usually apply more staples due to the extra fabric and the curve of the cushion. Now we're gonna to move to the opposite corner. And again, you wanna pull the big roll first, which will create two smaller rolls, which will work out just like we did the opposite corner. As you can see here, we still have some rolls left. So on these sides, you don't wanna shoot a lot of staples until you've worked all the rolls out of it. So you wanna space the staples out to work out the little rolls. We have one roll here, so what we're gonna do is pull these two staples out, pull from the center of the roll, and then secure it again. Now we're gonna repeat this process on the other side. Moving to the top, we're gonna to secure our center section. What you wanna do is use your thumbs and pull the center part, make sure that your seam is even, and roll the vinyl over the back side and secure with two staples. Now, you may notice some ripples here. When we pull the sides, we're gonna pull that flex out, so don't worry about it. Now we're gonna to move to one side and use the same technique and work the ripple out and secure it with a staple as well. Just like we did on the sides, you're gonna use more staples in this area than you do the rest of the cushion. Once you're happy with your center, you can finish the sides here. Now that your top is finished, you want to go back and make sure that your seam looks good. We're going to move to the bottom and do the last two seams. On the seams located at the bottom, you'll notice the ridge in the back side of the seat cushion. What we're going to do is we're going to pull the fabric over this. Then you're going to take your razor knife and you're going to trim on each side of this back ridge. You don't want to trim too far back. You want to trim enough so that your fabric lays over the side so we can secure it. Now that we have our center cut out, we can pull our loose fabric and secure it with a staple. Now when you're pulling this side, you want to make sure that you can't pinch any fabric on the front. If you can pinch fabric, then you need to pull some staples and pull it a little tighter. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Now that all of our staples are in place, you want to give the cover one final once over. Any adjustments that you need to make, go ahead and do so now. Using the Hydem strip that's included in your package, we're going to cover up all the staples in the back side of the cushion. There's two strips, so you want to start the first strip on the outside of the ridge located on the back of the cushion. You're going to take the Hydem strip and pull it apart a little bit. You're going to get the nose of the stapler in between the two sides so that whenever the Hydem strip closes, you don't see the staple heads.
We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. With our hydrum strip in place, you can now trim all the excess cover. Now we can clean our seat cushion off and move to the seat bottom. You'll notice here that we have the wood bottom. We're gonna do the plastic bottom later. We've already taken off our armrests our hinges, as well as our trim pieces. So we're gonna find the front, the side that the hinges go on. We're gonna lay our seat cover down face first, and then lay our cushion inside of our seat cover. Now, there is a front and rear on your cover. If you look on the side, you'll notice a taller side of fabric and a shorter side. The taller side goes to the front side, which is the same side your hinges are on. So once you have the cover oriented, place the seat cushion inside the cover. Make sure all four sides are evenly spaced around the cushion. Once you're happy with it, you're gonna put your glasses on and staple one corner. Then we're gonna alternate and staple each opposite corner like we did on the lean back cushion. Once all four corners are in place, you want to check your seams, make sure everything looks good. If something's off, go ahead and take your staple out and readjust. You also want to keep in mind that you'll cover up the holes for your armrests and your hinges. We'll come back and cut those out later. Moving to the inside seams, we're going to go to the back of the cushion. And you're going to pull the seams equally tight and staple the seams. Then we're going to move to the outside seams and do the same thing. You want to use the seam on the outside of the cushion as a guide. If you pull too far, the seam will start to slant. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. When all of your seams are secure, you're going to come back in the inside between the seams and secure the excess. One thing to keep in mind is when you're pulling the excess, to pull the vinyl where it's even all the way across. You're going to do the same thing on the other side. At this point, if you can pinch the vinyl, you haven't pulled it tight enough. You have to back out some of the staples and pull the vinyl a little harder. Now that our center seams are stapled and secured, we can move to the inside of the corners here and here. Again, you wanna use the seam on the back side of the cushion as a guide. On the corners with the hinges, be sure to staple along the outside edge here to leave you room to cut out for your hinge. At this point, we have everything secured except for our two sides. You'll notice, looking at the seam going down the side here, that it comes way up in the middle. This will all get fixed when we start pulling the sides in. You wanna just go along the same hip here. Just like we did on the lean back cushion, you wanna start in the middle and then work your way out to the sides. Again, keep in mind, you have your holes for your armrests. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side.
Once you're happy with the fit of your seat cushion, you can now come back and cut out the holes for your hinges and your armrests if needed. Now you're ready to reattach your armrests, hinges, and trim. Once that's back on, you're now finished installing your Mad Jack seat cover designed for a club car precedent.